Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're gonna to answer a subscriber's question. So just to dive straight in here, right? Uh, Ellington is asking, hey Dimitri, would you recommend someone going straight into a quant master's program after undergrad or working for two years and then getting a master's here? So this is a really good question. I get this one quite a bit and yet I've never really addressed it here. So let me just dive on into my perspective and opinion on work experience within quants. Um, so the short, simple, sweet answer here is no, I don't think you should have any work experience uh, when going into a master's for quantitative finance. Um, so let me back that up here with some reasoning and logic. Uh, the reason being is that, in my opinion, and I'll explain why I think this way as well, uh, you should be getting an academic master's. You should not be wasting your time on a professional degree. So I don't, I'm not a fan of professional degrees. Uh, I think it's great and wonderful that professors, academics want to train you for the industry, but the problem is most academics have no idea what goes on in the industry. And then the issue being too is that industry practitioners, even if they come back to work, often miss the rigor, miss the details. I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of it in general. And one piece of why this makes zero sense, I think, in quant finance is going to be because guess what? Most quant firms or what I would term as real quantitative finance jobs and firms and companies here do not hire interns. So for internships here, for example, uh, for anybody who is not working on a master's or a PhD, they don't hire undergrads at all. They don't do it. Uh, now, I've heard rumors and inklings that some of the big name hedge funds have been starting to get undergrads and do that. And that's fine. But you're not going to have anything of substantial value because guess what? Educationally, you don't have enough information, you don't have enough knowledge uh, with an undergrad degree, four years of education here, to really hit the ground running in a quant firm. So yes, you can bring in undergrads and you can have them make charts and, you know, I don't know, go run and get you coffee, uh, pull data from servers and do simple tasks, and that's great and wonderful, but it doesn't really add any value per se in a quantitative finance masters. So most quant finance masters that I have seen, most of them that I think are extremely well put together, Again, you're gonna have students coming straight from undergrad. Now, I worked a year between undergrad and grad school. That had to do with me not getting into programs that I wanted to get into. That had to do with me basically being unemployed after undergrad in the finance realm. Uh, again, working at a startup company for that whole year off, so I was working and everything. But again, I don't think it adds any value to quant finance. So now, let me just rebuttal this slightly with kind of the flip side of this. Why would you have a few years of experience and then go back for a quantitative master's here? Uh, many reasons is going to be like, I don't know, maybe you start in finance, you work on the business side or the finance side, the traditional finance side of equity investing, I don't know, derivative investing, wealth management, something like that. Or maybe you have a completely different career. Maybe you worked, I don't know, like me in manufacturing for a few years and you're wanting to go back to school to get a master's there are quantitative finance masters that do require experience. Um, I would argue if they're going to do this though, they're not going to do it from a perspective of getting experience. It's more or less like they're tailoring their program to people who have, for example, some specific skill set. So you've worked in the industry for two years in traditional finance. You already have a really strong finance background, right? The program doesn't need to really cover that as much or they need to spend a lot more time on the statistics and the mathematics so that they can bring in a very specific type of student who has finance experience and then kind of bring them up into the quant finance realm and strengthen those areas that they're going to be more kind of weak on compared to other students here. So do I think you need the experience? No, I don't think you need it. If a program requires it, um, I wouldn't even necessarily think that's like a good thing or a bad thing here. It's just like, it's just catering to a specific type of student. Um, and then a piece of advice as well is look to see where these companies are placing students. Often there are programs that are set up like MBAs because guess what? It's an MBA, but they put quantitative finance through a business school, through an MBA director. Uh, it's just an MBA program that's been relabeled. You're not a quant. Uh, <laughs> I can't make it any clearer than that for you, for most of you. But uh, again, work experience isn't really a thing in quant finance. You typically have to have a really rigorous academic background. And then once you have just the bare minimum tools, which you get in a master's, maybe a few extra tools of the PhD, uh, then you can hit the ground and kind of learn as you go, but you're still going to be vastly unprepared. Doesn't matter where you go, what school you go to, doesn't matter how smart you are, you can't learn it all uh, in a four-year undergrad, a two-year master's, or even a five to seven-year PhD. So that's my takeaway on whether you need work experience or not. Maybe if you should look for a program with work experience or not, just my two cents here. So anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, until next time.